Welcome to TranscriptionGear.com's Gear FTP walkthrough. This walkthrough will cover connecting to your new FTP site with explanation of user interface, uploading and downloading files, and general site maintenance such as adding or removing files and folders, and much more. Before we get started, let me briefly explain what FTP is and how an FTP site is useful to you. FTP protocol or file transfer protocol, is a standard network protocol used to exchange and manipulate files over an internet protocol computer network such as the internet. FTP is built on a client-server architecture and utilizes separate control and data connections between the client and server applications. Client applications were originally interactive command line tools with a standardized command syntax, but graphical user interfaces have been developed for all desktop operating systems in use today, such as our interface, which we will be covering shortly. Got all that? Overly technical explanation aside, basically think of FTP as an extension of your computer's hard drive, similar to an external hard drive or a USB thumb drive. Instead of locally saving these files, they reside on a server in a remote location, which makes for handy access to anyone with a username and password to this remote site. Files can be uploaded and downloaded from this site with ease. Now that we have a better understanding of FTP, let's get connected to Gear FTP and continue onward. First, we'll start by opening your web browser, whether it's Internet Explorer or Firefox. Any web browser will do. In the address bar at the top here, we want to enter the following address. HTTP colon double forward slash FTP dot transcription gear dot com forward slash SUFTP forward slash index dot HTML. I recommend saving this into your favorites so you don't have to type this in every time. Just simply click on favorites or add to the toolbar here. Now if this is your first time accessing the FTP site, you may receive a message from Internet Explorer, a security warning uh, that's asking to allow if Java is able to run. You want to go ahead and click OK or click Run on that. Once our site is loaded here, you'll want to click on the Connect button at the very bottom, right here. We're going to click on this button, and a box will pop up asking us for our username and password. You'll want to enter the username and password you provided with when signing up for the Gear FTP service. I'm going to put in a temporary password and username here. And you'll notice there are two checkboxes down here. We can either click on Anonymous or save connection. If you always are going to be logging into the FTP site using the same username and password, I highly suggest clicking on Save Connection and then choosing Connect. There we are. Now on the right side of the interface here, you'll notice that there are now a listing of folders, which is basically all the content on your FTP site here. The left side of the interface is your local computer. This shows all of the files that are locally on your hard drive. Now that we're connected to the FTP site, I'd like to take a few minutes going over the user interface for Gear FTP. We're aware of the left and right sides of the screen being your computer on the left and FTP site on the right. There is also a drive letter selection box drop down. You can use this to cycle between the drives that are on your local computer. So say our E drive here was a removable disk or a uh, thumb drive. You could plug that thumb drive in, access that, and then transfer files over to your thumb drive, which is very handy if you're trying to take documents or audio files on the go. Next to the drop-down box, you'll notice that there's a text box here with the local path on the computer. This is set up just like the Windows address bar, so it should look somewhat familiar. The icons to the right of the directory text box are identical on both the local and FTP sides of the window. We'll go through these icons now. The first icon here is the up one folder icon. This will move you up a directory. So for example, now we are in the desktop folder. If I were to click this button here, it would move me up to the Nick Salerno folder. Under the Nick Salerno folder, I want to go back to my desktop. Simply just double click on that folder. We're now in the desktop folder. Next we have the create a new folder icon. You can do this on both the desktop and FTP sides. So if I were to create a new folder, we would be able to enter a name for that folder. 
and then click OK, the folder would then show up under our desktop folder. Moving on, we have the folder information icon. This will give us information on what is currently in the folder, a directory listing, if you will, in a text format. This is useful if you just need a list or you have a lot of different files in here and you need to browse through real quick to see if a certain file exists in this folder. Next we have the refresh icon. Clicking on this will refresh the contents of either your FTP or desktop. If you were to move a new file recently into your desktop or onto the FTP site and you do not see it immediately being displayed here, simply click on the refresh button and it will give you a new listing of what is in that folder. Moving on, our next icon here, view selected file. When you click on this icon, it takes into effect what the file that you have highlighted is. So in this case, say I wanted to open up our gear FTP docx. If I click the view file, it's going to use whatever default uh, program would open up that file type. So for example, this docx would open up normally in Microsoft Word. Or if you have a DSS file, say gear player was your set player to open that file, it would open in gear player. So I'm going to click this here just to give you an example and you see Word is opening up and now we have our document file. Moving on here we have the rename. Simply click on this will make it so that you can rename the file directly from within this application. And last we have our delete button. This can be used to remove files directly from your desktop or the FTP site. Keep in mind, removing files from your desktop will put them in the recycle bin. However, removing them from the FTP site will permanently delete a file. As a safety, when you click the delete button, it will give you a confirmation box. You will have to either select OK or Cancel, which is a good safeguard just in case you do not wish to remove a file. In this case, I would like to keep this because we are going to transfer this in just a moment. Moving on down this site here, we have a between the local file system and FTP, there are two arrows. There's an upload selected files arrow and a download selected files arrow. The upload arrow will move any file that is highlighted on your local file system to the left to the FTP site on the right. So say I wanted to transfer the gear FTP docx file over to my FTP site. I would simply highlight that by clicking on the file open the folder I would like within the gear FTP site and then click upload selected files. The file is then uploaded and now we have our file here. To download files from the FTP site we do the exact opposite. So we're going to choose our Gear FTP docx file, click the download selected files button here, and there we have our document back. Once you have completed downloading and uploading files to and from the FTP site, you can go ahead and click the disconnect button in the lower left hand corner. This will close out of your connection to the FTP site and bring you only to the local file system. You may then close out of your browser. Other resources on this site of mention include the transcriptiongear.com link in the upper left hand corner of the page located here which will connect you directly to our transcriptiongear.com website. Also the Gear FTP logo here will take you to the FTP portion on our website. Then we navigate all the way to the bottom of the page here you'll notice there are a quick set of instructions as well as minimum system requirements. And at any time, should you need to access either of these, you can either click on the Quick Start Guide or Instructions. This concludes our Gear FTP walkthrough. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call us here at 1-888-834-2392.